Okay, here we go. Finally, on the 17th of May in the year 2022, my 2020 Razorblade Pro 17 that I used for a year and a half, and I'm giving away, I'm going to draw the winner before this video. Now, if you don't remember, this is the laptop I'm giving away. This is it right here, a Razorblade Pro 17 with an RTX 3080 in it and an i7 six core processor, 64 gigabytes of RAM and a two terabyte hard drive. Now, when you receive this laptop, it's gonna have 64 gigabytes of RAM that I upload, I installed in it. And it's going to have a one or two terabyte solid state drive. And you can upgrade that to 12 terabytes. So, and it's a 4K touchscreen beast of a machine. So let's draw the winner right now in the video. I'll leave a chapter if you want to skip over the drawing. Now, this is the fun part. Broken Reality, a YouTuber, was nice enough to make this list. This list is long. So you're going to have to pause it to see your name because this is going to take forever. There's well over a thousand people that entered to win this particular drawing. And she made the list for me, not once, but twice. So yeah, this is going to take a minute. It is what it is. Got to be uh, transparent here. You see what I mean? The winner has 24 hours to email me. RJCJR10 at yahoo.com. Give me your info and I'll ship this thing out. I'm looking to hit the road the beginning of next week. So hit me up. Don't say I didn't warn you. Because I'll just pick a winner afterwards randomly. There's a lot of people in this. I mean, are you kidding me? We're halfway through the list. You're going to have to go through real slow. The thing is, is whoever wins, I'm going to say your name. So you'll, you'll know who won. And sadly, there can only be one winner. Unlike the gold that I gave away a couple uh, in December. I gave away... Three one-ounce gold coins and then two half-ounce gold coins. There was five winners total. But this one, there's only going to be one winner. And I was giving this away because I had one too many laptops. And it turns out the laptop that I got, I ended up returning. So, whatever. One laptop's good enough. It is what it is. Look at this list, will you? Wow. Imagine if you could get this many people together to do something good. You can't. I've tried. I've tried for years. But when you give something away, people are on it. There it is. Okay, there's the end of the list. Let's go over. We got 1153. Let's go to random.org. Okay, here we go. Let's uh let's let's clear this. Clear this. Clear this. Okay. 1153. Here we go. The big winner is 315 stand by the winner is revelation truth number 315 315 hit me up rjc jr10 at yahoo.com you just won a 2020 razor blade pro now if you want to find out what the top five survival items that you already own and didn't realize it common household items well you're gonna to have to sit back you're going to want to relax, and you're definitely going to want to check this out. Okay, the first one should be pretty obvious. It's trash bags. And I'm talking these trash bags, contractor bags. 
I always have these with me in my truck, in my backpack, in my pocket, because these things have a veritable cornucopia of uses. What does that mean? You can use them for anything. And I'm talking anything. It's insane. I had no idea. Now, I have always known of the obvious uses, like using it as a poncho, as I'm showing you here, or using it as a tarp, or to gather firewood, or to gather leaves to make a mattress, or to gather water. You know, the usual things you'd think of. Well, there's a whole bunch of crap you can use it for, like this. And just in case me modeling a trash bag as a poncho wasn't enough, here's 37 survival uses for trash bags. Number one, you can gather things. Number two, keep supplies dry. Number three, keep your feet dry. Number four, keep yourself dry. You can use them to waterproof bandages. You can make a tourniquet, tie a splint, treat injuries because you can fill it with snow or ice, tie it shut, and use it as a cold compress. That is a good one. You can use it to make a, sw a sling or a swing. You can collect rainwater or any type of water that you can actually get into the bag. You can use it to get water from trees, which means you lay it on the ground and hope for the dew or the rain to land in the bag. You see what I'm saying? You can make a solar still. I'll leave a link below. You can haul water, store water. You can use it to take a shower. You can use it to stay clean if you're butchering an animal. See the poncho. Prevent hypothermia because you can put it, you can tape the bag around your legs and torso and make thermal underwear. That would absolutely suck. Block the sun, build a shelter, stay warm, make a mattress, make a pillow, make a toilet. Wash clothes, quarantine the sick by stuffing them in the bag. Black out your windows, fix leaks, build a raft, stay afloat, grow plants, stop weeds, catch fish, protect food, eat food, make a rope, mark a trail, and signal for help with a white trash bag only, ladies and gentlemen. But as you can see, this simple thing can be used in many, many ways. And if you meet me, I've probably got one in my backpack. I've definitely got four in my truck. I always carry heavy duty contractor bags because if you're going to bother with a trash bag use a real one links will be below Woo! Woo! so believe it or not this thing that you use to keep pests out of your house in a survival situation can be used to catch food for real. Now this doesn't require too much explanation, but I mean, you can catch all sorts of things with a rat trap. As a matter of fact, you can even go fishing with a rat trap. Links will be below. It takes a little doing, but it's doable. Apparently the only thing you can't catch with a rat trap is a raccoon because raccoons are stealthy. Okay, one thing people always need in a survival situation but never have is a compass. Well, I'll tell you what, I wear a watch every day and I always have, and I actually wear an automatic watch, so there's no batteries. It can't be taken out, it can't die. As long as it's moving, my watch is always winding. So there's that. But I'm gonna show you how to use your watch as a compass in seconds. No 10 minute videos, in seconds. It's fairly straightforward, it's pretty damn accurate, so check this out you take your watch you point the hour hand at the Sun okay so it's one o'clock and then you take the the distance between the hour hand and 12 o'clock and you divide that in half whatever that is is south the other way is north and it's accurate so let me say this one more time you point the hour hand on your watch at the Sun and then you divide the dif distance between the hour hand and high noon and halfway between that is south, meaning the other side is north and it's accurate. You see what I'm saying? Now for all those people shaking their heads like, I don't need a watch, my phone has a watch, my car has a watch, my stove has a watch, my coffee maker has a watch, everything has a watch. In a survival situation, all of those things might be entirely moot. 
So having a watch not only gives you the time, it gives you your bearings, it also can give you the day and the date. So it's something you might want to think about. And number four is pantyhose. Yeah. Now there's the obvious uses for pantyhose that everyone knows about, like robbing a bank or dressing as a woman when no one's around. That's all the rage these days. But here's a bunch of uses. Now I know this is a strange one, but believe it or not, pantyhose are incredibly useful and they're incredibly light. I mean, they don't take up any weight whatsoever at all. And apparently there's a serious list of uses for them that I didn't even know about. Keep animals away. Put dog or human hair in a strip of pantyhose in place and tie them around the proximity of your garden. It's the best thing to do in a, it's best to do this in a high spot. The smell will prevent deer and other creatures from coming in and eating and ruining your survival garden. Imagine that. Wearing pantyhose will stop bug bites, ticks, ants, etc. because they can't get through it. You see what I'm saying? Prevents blisters. Now I've worn silk stockings under my wool socks when hiking the Appalachian Trail or doing any type of long-term hike and I learned that in the military. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But it's awesome and the shit that you catch on video is what makes it all worthwhile. Plus there's an enormous satisfaction factor, you know? The fucking Appalachian Trail, man. No joke. The rain's here just started pouring so hopefully I can make it to that shelter I mean, I've got all my gear just after last night I kind of want to I'd like to uh, lay it all out and repack it again you know everything was pretty damp I burned a pair of my socks trying to dry them next to the fire as a mosquito net as a mask you can place onions and other dry fruits in pantyhose and hang them in the sun. The nylons will keep the bugs out of your food and will help keep dirt off as well. Get a few rocks and put them in your pantyhose and tie it off at the end. You'll be a regular David fighting Goliath, hunting small animals. Pantyhose provide a great base layer, drain excess water from plants, dusk mask, keep your hair out of your face, don't dry your tinder in your pocket. Instead, put it in pantyhose and hang it so it'll quickly and efficiently dry. You see what I'm saying? Catching fish. Now that sounds like a stretch, doesn't it? Catch crabs? That sounds like a double entendre. As a pouch. And this is the main reason right here for me. As a water filter, to keep bugs off you. As a water filter, as a tourniquet, and as a mosquito net and to prevent blisters but all of these others are absolutely great great ideas for using something as strange as pantyhose so there you go now this last one is the last one in this video i wanted to hurry that hurry up with this video just so i could finally do the drawing for the laptop but i'm going to do a video on 15 more things that you've already got that you didn't know what they were you could use them in a survival situation but the last one in this particular video is eyeglasses. Something that sadly, in the last few years, I've had to start wearing, but I'll tell you what. I've said this before in previous videos. You may be wondering why I'm wearing sunglasses when there's no sun right now. It's snowing and raining. Having sunglasses on in the, in the woods also helps out a lot while you're moving along. So you don't find your eye getting poked out by one of the numerous sticks. Oh. It's a thing called eye fatigue. When it snows out, the snow makes everything much brighter. So in my pocket, as always, I have my reading glasses. And on my head, I have my sunglasses. So in my pocket, as always, I have my reading glasses. And on my head, I have my sunglasses. Sunglasses can act as safety glasses, and they can also keep your eyes from getting fatigued from the sun or the brightness of the snow. It's pretty straightforward. You're basically gonna use your glasses as a magnifying glass and hopefully start a fire. But don't bet the bank on it. 
but in an emergency survival situation, if you so had to, you could possibly use your glasses to start a fire in this method. But what I do is I carry a Fresnel lens, a flexible magnifying lens in my wallet. It works much better than this, but again, in a survival situation, this could work. So there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment below, and I will try to return the favor. Links will be in the description box. I am out.